Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound magnesium acetate. All right, so the first thing I see is I see that I have magnesium. I'm scanning the periodic table, and it looks like magnesium is right here, right? It's in group two. Magnesium is represented as an Mg, and all group two elements are alkaline earth metals, and they always have an oxidation state or a charge of a plus two. So that's the first thing that I'm going to write down. I'm going to say that I have Mg, and it's a plus two charge. The next component of this compound is acetate. I see that it's an ATE ending, and all ATE endings are polyatomic ions. Remember guys, polyatomics are never gonna be on the periodic table. They need to be memorized. So for the case of this video, I wrote down what acetate is. So you guys just have to memorize that, all right? So acetate is C2H3O2. Now, you can see acetate in other forms, but in this case, I'm gonna use C2H3O2, okay. Now, since we have the charges, all we have to do is crisscross these charges to tell me how many of each component I need in my compound. So this two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two acetates, and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one magnesium. Now, when you do that, just forget about the charges. You're only looking at the subscripts now. And now we're able to write the formula. I have a magnesium. This is only telling me that I need one of them, so I don't have to write the one. But now here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple polyatomics, you need to put parentheses around the polyatomic. So I'm going to put parentheses, write my polyatomic out, which is acetate, C3, C2H3O2, close it up, and now I say that I have two of them. And finally, now I have my answer. So magnesium acetate is just MgC2H3O2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. All right. I'm rooting for you guys. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And let's keep studying. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.